There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you okay, picked up by George Hawley over to Tyler Fox Now a little break maybe for the Jesuits Tyler Fox looks over for Maddox Hill Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh my god! It's gonna be a shot by Brad everybody for a out of division Fairfield Prep Jesuits versus Chaminade Flyers matchup ranked nationally matchup I am Tommy Berry joined with Patrick Godswan and uh, this is gonna be a really good one everybody we have the number 22 currently Fairfield Prep Jesuits facing off the number 20 in the nation Chaminade Flyers it's gonna be a very good game. How are you feeling Patrick? No, definitely. It's gonna be a very good game today uh, Two very very good teams uh, Of course Fairfield prep coming off a big win last week against Darianne who was ranked number 10 in the country uh, with Lou, uh, Tim Shanahan coming with the big goal in overtime uh, Oh, sorry. It was Luke Shanahan um but uh, other than that, uh, I think it's going to be a great game. Chaminade seems to be good. Uh, what about you, Barry? What do you think? Yeah, you know, um, going into the season, uh, a lot of people were a little, you know, doubting us a little uh, because we lost many seniors. We also lost, um, I believe, number 24 commit in the country, uh, Brennan Malahi, Notre Dame commit, yeah, who correct. went to Taft. So there were a lot of uh, a lot of doubts about us. But after beating Darian last week, that was a big win for us. And we usually – that Darianne game is usually one of the uh, biggest of the year. And, you know, starting off the season with it and winning it, that's that's going to really help us with some momentum going into this game. No, definitely. Uh, speaking of Malahi, we do have his uh, younger brother, though. Yes. Uh, Barrett Malahi, who's wearing number 16. Uh, he has two goals currently on the season, and they both came against Xavier, uh, which was a 16-2 to win. Uh, for the Jesuits, which was their first SEC game of the season. Um, and then Chaminade's last game, they played ranked uh, St. Ignatius Prep from California the other day, and they took that one 13-7. So Chaminade's coming in here with a lot of momentum, coming off a big uh, win against a big uh, ranked team, and then Prep's coming off a win uh, from uh, Xavier. Yeah, and... Um yeah, I mean, I couldn't have said it better. We have, uh, we're currently three and zero, um, and Shaman is currently two and two. They have played some pretty uh, gross and nasty teams like McDonough. Yes. McDonough has the number one uh, recruit in the nation yes. for the class of twenty twenty five. Brennan uh, Millen, yes, yes, Millen. I was about to say Mick Millen, UVA commit. Yes, and um, you know it's going to be a really big game. We have a lot of uh, D one commits on our team, and Shaman has twenty. D1 commits on their team. Uh, somebody we definitely need to look out for is midfielder Gavin Lynch. He is a Notre Dame commit for the class of 2025, I believe. And uh, he's definitely going to make a big difference in this game, as well as Gavin Fitzpatrick, and, uh, who plays defense, and Connor Cutton, who are both going to Johns Hopkins, which is a very prestigious lacrosse school. So, I mean, this is going to be a very big game. Um, I really can't wait to see how we do, especially from the likes of Luke Shanahan, Timmy Shanahan, and that entire crew. Uh, yes, definitely, Barry. Uh, it's going to be an exciting one here at Rafferty Stadium. Uh, it looks to be nice outside, but ladies and gentlemen, it is freezing outside. The wind is uh, very bad right now. Uh, it doesn't look like it. There aren't many uh, leaves around to see, but uh, it's blowing here. Uh, we'll see how that's going to affect uh, play here, especially passing from goalies and long poles. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, the wind has been a 
big problem for a lot of spring sports. But, I mean, our boys have played through some crazy uh, conditions. Um, we played uh, a scrimmage where it was – Rafferty was basically a little swimming pool. Yes, so it was. So I think we will I, – I, I hope we'll be good. I believe that was against Seton Hall Prep, was it not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <coughs> and that <coughs> – excuse me, that was also a very big game. Yes, yes, it was. All right, looks like teams here getting ready to start. We've got 50 seconds left on the clock, uh, and we'll get this game underway. And this game will be starting in about T-minus one second for the National Anthem. So we will see you guys after that. And that was our national anthem. You guys may have seen in the Bomb Squad or many of the players a lot of bleached hair. Um, it is a tradition, I believe, starting last year for right. Varsity to have the back of their heads just a little bleached so it will come out the back of their helmet. And the freshman lacrosse team... Um, they also, went for the buzz cut. Yeah, they went for the buzz cut and also bleach. Yes, correct. But, but not back of Eta, full head. No. So that's, that's a pretty big thing here. Um, my freshman year... I did not have to do that, thankfully. Um, well, actually, Loki may have not been that bad. But we do have, um, is that Ryan Backus out there taking faceoffs? Uh, whoever number 13 is, yeah, maybe. Believe so. 13 we have down as Barrett Malahi, actually. Hmm. That's a little peculiar. I thought he was wearing number 16, but looks like we have Emmett Crotty out there. Uh, number 91. Thank you. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Uh, goalies just touched this, and they are running to their nets uh, for prep. Uh, make sure to look out for Tim and Luke Shanahan. Luke Shanahan, uh, a hat trick against Darien here. Seven goals to assist on the season. And his older brother, Tim Shanahan, uh, also a hat trick. Eight goals, seven assists. So make sure to look out for the brothers right now. And soon we are underway. It looks like Ryan Backus, who's back from an injury, uh, ready to take the face off. And on we are. Shamanad looks to take it. Shamana taking the ball. Big nasty checks from Cooper Callahan and Gavin McCarthy. Looking to clear the ball. Passing it to Ryan Backus. Ryan Backus looking for something. Getting a lot of checks. Ball caught loose. But whistle. Whistle there. That ball was caught loose by Merchetta. To James Gillis. Gillis to Tully. Tully to Greer. Greer gets the ball back. Greer back to Gillis. Gillis back to Greer. Dodging in on Ryan Back is staying in instead of getting out of the game. Looking back at X, looking for something. He goes back and he shoots. And he scores. He scores, and that is number two, Connor Cutton, the junior attackman with the first goal. Yeah, uh, you know, Prep did get the ball back after the faceoff that Shamanad won, but uh, there was a whistle on the play. Don't, uh, not sure what happened, but um, Shamanad takes it, moves the ball around, and finds the back of the net. Ball taking this face off for his Bacchus. And he gets that. Going for the going for a shot. Passes it off. And that's yeah, another that's goal for Shamanad. Number nine. James Gillis. Yeah. The sophomore attackman. Yeah, prep here is struggling to win the face off, the first two. But it looks like we have sophomore uh Cole uh, Garrett coming out now to take this third face off, maybe change the momentum here for the Jesuits. Yeah, Cole Garrett, definitely a game changer here for the Jesuits and will be for a few years to come. He's been developing as a great player. And he is he was a freshman of varsity last year. Yes, correct. And the Jesuits lose it. Shamanad now has possession. Shamanad does need to get it into the box, though. And that's O'Connor giving it to Cutton. Cutton giving it back to Gillis. Gillis looking to find something on Hawley. And that and there we see out there number 34, Palmer Fermender, the short stick D midi. Usually plays long stick, but has resorted to short stick here. Yeah, definitely. That is a uh, big change. I didn't know about that till today. But uh, the Air Force commit changes. And that was an almost huge albatross there from Palmer Fermenter deflecting that ball. Here we got Gavin McCarthy. But that shot goes wide for Gavin Lynch. Taking it from the back, Alex Meyer guarding Bals John Balsano. Balsano passes it off to Kimball. Kimball to Cutton. Cutton looking for something on Cooper Callahan. He has nothing. Passes it back to X to Gillis. Gillis looking for a shot. BTB, but just over the goal there. And that will be prep. Wow, Cooper Callahan got there with that dive. Big play there from Cooper Callahan. Definition of don't give up right there. This is Hawley getting this clear. Getting it back up. Box side, which is very unusual. Prep usually likes to run an off box setup. But that is Theo Rudolph, the sophomore, number six, giving it to Emmett Crotty. Emmett Crotty, the junior, looking for something. Passing it to Griffin Rohde. Rohde back to Theo. Theo looking to set up a dodge. Theo falls a little. That's a good check there. 
from Gavin Duran. Duran trying to clear this ball, but Fimaloy tries flagged. to get it. Flag down four, probably a trip, and that shot is over the net by Connor Cutton. And this will be a man down scenario. Haven't seen a lot of it this year from Fairfield Prep, but I mean, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, we'll definitely see how this defense is going to work being a man down, especially against this Chaminade offense here. Yeah, we see number 14, Ben Davenport out there playing on this man down defense. The senior, guess he's very pretty much proven himself during practice as he is a very good defensive player. That is number nine taking the knee in the box. That's uh, Finbar Malloy uh, for a trip, and that's a minute. And it's Chaminade Ball. Something going on. Ref's halting it. Yeah. There we go. That's given to Lynch. Lynch to Gillis. Gillis to Peter. I'm not even going to say his last name. To Barbary, I'm going to call him. <laughs> uh, Lynch to Gillis. Gillis looking for something. Gillis gives it to Kimball. Kimball. A lot of weird passes here. Wow. A lot of fakes. And that goes in. And that was a great cut there from Balsamo. You guys may have seen there, but there was a little bit of a fake, yeah. fake shot there. That really tripped up Garrett Keene, the senior, number eight. Yeah, no, definitely. That was a uh, very well-executed play there by Shamanad. I actually saw them uh, doing that in warm-ups. I, I was wondering what was going on there, and uh, it works in game as well. So <laughs> I guess so. That did not go very well for the Jesuits. Giving the goalie. And that's prep ball. Yeah, Garrett Keane, good, really good instincts, not letting Matthew Marchetta get that easy goal or easy one on one with him. Preventing that goal and letting a clear happen for Fairfield Prep. Hawley passes it to Keane. Keane to Burke. The junior, previously a, a long stick, a long pole, but switched to short stick again. Three on one, and that's Meyer not letting up a goal to Jack Tully. Yeah, no, Prep is definitely struggling to break the ball out here. Uh, you know, Prep, maybe if they get the ball out, uh, change the momentum here. It's currently 4 nothing Chaminade uh, with seven minutes left in the first, and that's a big surprise here as these two teams are very close in the national rankings. And we have a timeout here by uh, Prep taken by uh, Nimi. And we'll see if this will change anything with the prep defense and just the momentum in this game. Yeah, you know, um, this is not, as you said, looking very good for Fairfield Prep. Chaminade's just been outclassing us in numerous aspects of the game. I mean, their defense has been mind-boggling. Uh, a, a lot of great checks there from Gavin Duran, playing a lot of LSM, even though he is listed as a close defender. Um, their offense has been executed beautifully, as we saw on that man down. And just letting them get goals like that, letting them get those penalties, letting them get these opportunities is something that we really need to fix. Yeah, no, definitely here, Tommy. Uh, prep, hopefully with this timeout, it looks to be a whole team, which is usually separated from the offense and the defense. So maybe Coach Nimi here has something to say to the whole team. Uh, maybe turn this game around for the Jesuits. Yeah, Nimi, um, I mean, he is Coach Prime type um, speeches. He, um, you know, I really got to give to him. He's sort of the incarnation of Ray Lewis in um, the Ravens locker room. If it comes to motivating the team, he has been a really big factor towards that. Yeah, definitely. Seems like they're check checking they? two sticks, yeah. Checking Karate's stick there. Yeah. That's good. But it looks like Bacchus is back out for the uh, faceoff. Keen staying in as well. Yeah, no, there's nothing you can really say there. Uh, it's not always the goalie's fault coming from a goalie myself. 
Uh, you know, it's hard. It's hard in the cross. Uh, it's probably one of the hardest positions uh, in the cross, so never really blame it on the goalie. And that faceoff is almost won by prep there. Ball almost out of bounds. Backus, big hit there, but the ball gets recovered by Chaminade. That's to Gillis. Gillis trying to get into the box. He still isn't in, but it seems like, do they have it? I believe they do. Yeah, I believe Gillis touched uh, his foot in the box there. Very unfortunate. Kimball passes it off to Lynch. And Lynch is just holding this. He's taking his time. He knows that the offense needs to get their stuff together. Yes. Uh, and we got Palmer over there, the short stick. Meyer guarding Cutton at X. Meyer, his, I would say his specialty is X. Gavin McCarthy. Yeah, most def. Oh, and a big check Gavin by George there. And... Oh, I was about to say, that might have been a CTO. And Meyer, good and defense there, closes out. Yep, Keen with the save there, low. Uh, couldn't get his own rebound, but save him the board there. Shamanad, oh! And it's between Keen's legs, and it's 5 nothing. Shamanad with just under six minutes left in the quarter. Yeah, Prep needs to make a few changes here. I don't know what it is defensively, offensively. I mean, in the clear... I would say, um, you know, they, they do need to get their clear going. That's how they just uh, got two goals, I believe, so far. Correct. So, I mean, that clear game is just a very big part of yeah. this team. Yeah, especially, I mean, if we could clear it and get it to our offense, our offense can uh, move the ball very well. If we've seen against Darianne, especially when it comes to clutch moments, as we saw from Luke Shanahan and his brother Tim Shanahan, both with hat tricks that game. Yeah, good albatross there from uh, George Hawley. Lynch. Oh, wait, no, that is not Lynch. Pass into the, into into the, the crease. crease. Yeah, and it's missed, and Keen got it, and the clear looks to be underway. This is a great opportunity. First for our offense, and that's that a is goal. goal. That's Tim Shanahan with his ninth goal of the season there. Yeah, Tim Shanahan projected to be the leading scorer for Prep Lacrosse. Yeah, and the bomb squad here with the baby powder. See, it looks to be about like 40 guys maybe, you know. Uh, baby powder in the air right in front of us right here. Uh, and it's 5-1 Chaminade. But that goal really changes the momentum here in this game, especially with a fast break like that. And here we see uh, number 18, the sophomore, Kieran Campos, playing here, out here. And no, Cole Garrett wins the faceoff, gets into the box as well, gets which touch. is huge for prep. Yeah, I mean, you know, Chaminade usually plays with the uh, the shot clock, uh, but we're not playing with that here as prep is the home team. Tim Shanahan carrying this ball at X. Gives that off to Rody. Rody to Fimaloy. Fimaloy, a tri-star athlete. And try sport athlete. He's a star in every single sport he plays. We'll see that with lacrosse. Tim Shannon shoots that, but that wow, is gobbled it's a big up. Save. The clear. Good pass there to Gavin Duran. Gavin Duran gives it to Gillis. Gillis on Holly on Gillis. And O'Connor just seems to reset, slow down the offense. Giving it to Lynch. Lynch to O'Connor. O'Connor dodging down on the short stick. But that doesn't stop them. It's Gillis. Gillis with the shot. shot. And it's in. Beats him far side here. Far side low. Uh, so it's a hard one to save, especially from uh, a good shooter. So uh, we'll see how this faceoff goes. Maybe change the momentum of the game here. But currently it's 6-1 Shamanad with four minutes, just over four minutes left in this quarter. Yeah, Shamanad just, I mean, a very, very good team. And, I, I mean, we're going to have to see how Prep adapts to their current play style in the next few quarters. 
Yeah, Garrett can't win this faceoff this time. That's number one ball with the faceoff. And Ball's that's a, loose. That's a drop pass from Holly, but oh, they never got it into the box. And it seems like that is prep ball. It is prep ball. It's Karate. Giving it to Furmender. Not Marco. Palmer. He wants it. It's a little weird to see Furmender with a short stick. It definitely is. That pass is off to Malloy. Malloy dodging down. Taking his time. That pass is off to Rody. Rody dodging downhill. He has some space. Decides to pass it off to Timmy Shanahan. Tim looking for something out of X. Almost breaks his defender's ankles. He's passing it. Seem, looking for something. And that's given to Luke Shanahan, his brother at X. Looking for the goal, but that wow, is... Wow, another big save. Huge save there from Salvatore Caputo. Yeah, the senior here. Uh, that's a that's an incredible save. Two of them, actually. I believe that was one on each of the Shanahan brothers. Yeah, Shamanah defense has been playing very well so far in this game. Totally taking his time. Giving it off to Knapp. Knapp giving it to Tolly. Tolly do dodging downhill. Good slither from Cooper Callahan. Giving it back to Knapp. It gets all the way back to Cutton. Cutton looking for something, but Meyer is locking him up currently. Still on him. Looking for the short stick. We have Rody back at X. Not allowing the shot to get off. But the shot does get off. And that's and a Mongol. That's a, that's a save by uh, Keen there. Holly with this clear. Giving it to Keen. Yeah, very... I mean, we need it. Oh, giant pass down there to Timmy oh, Shanahan. Oh, just missed. Bow say, we're, we're really going to have to do something with these clears. Yeah, Shamanad seems to be playing a, a ride. Uh, they have their goalie coming out, and uh, he was on Tim Shanahan right there, so they had an extra guy uh, able to be at the midfield line. Good defense there from Gavin Burke as well as Robbie Manning. Holly at X. That passes all the way up to Tully. Tully Gavin, guarded by Gavin Burke. Giving it off to 22. Dodging down. And that shot, that's a great check there from Gavin McCarthy, who also leads the clear. Yeah, Keen gives it to uh... McCarthy going down. Just misses that shot. Yeah, but it's safe with prep there. So, you know, the clear work there. Uh, couldn't get the full shot off, but it stays with prep here. And we have Tim Shanahan on the left side of Salvatore. Robbie Manning at the hole with Gavin McCarthy. Or, sorry, excuse me, the other McCarthy. Yeah, that's Dylan McCarthy there. Dylan dodging down. Passing it off to X. T looking at the clock, knowing that there's only 20 seconds left in this quarter. Yeah, Prep really needs a goal here uh, before the uh, quarter ends. And a flag down there on number 27, Lewis. And the Jesuits are going to be man up here. Tommy, what are they looking for here on this man up? A goal. Yeah, definitely. We need a goal. 100% uh, we need a goal here. We need this offense to create something. I believe that's going to be a trip. So it's a one-minute uh, releasable penalty. So if Prep scores, the uh, man is out. And we have 13 seconds left on the clock here, hopefully with a goal. 13 may be an unlucky number, but Karate doesn't know unlucky numbers. No, no, he doesn't. Wait, that sounded like a chirp. <laughs> not a chirp. Definitely not. I don't believe 
the scoreboard is correct because that was on number 27, not number 13. But seems like they're just they're gonna run the clock out. Yeah, they're gonna run the clock out. They're gonna they're gonna wait for the second quarter so they have as much time as possible to create something. Yeah, you know that was a very smart decision there from Nimi or the players, either or. You know, giving four, 48 seconds in the next half for an opportunity is huge. Yeah, definitely. Prep needs needs it right here. Uh, with it being six one, I mean, Prep's got to come up big defensively and uh, get the clears going and find some offense and put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, definitely. You know, Prep's defensive core is notorious for being pretty much amazing. We have a few commits that go in and out of the defense. So we have numerous D1 commits. Um, but uh, I think we just need to lock in on our clears. Um, we have led up two goals to that, which is something you definitely don't want to see. Shamanaz Rod has done has been going very well for them. And um, yeah, like you said, just getting the ball back in the back of the net, running a good offense. Uh, I, I mean, we're going to have to make a lot of changes in this next quarter. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, something needs to change here. Uh, if it doesn't happen here, uh, we need something big in the second half, maybe halftime. We'll give the players a little time to think uh, and change this whole game around for prep. Yeah, definitely. I feel like uh, one of the changes that we saw at the end of that first quarter that may be something that we will see in the next the, in the rest of this game is uh, number 18, uh, Kieran Campos, the sophomore, playing LSM um, up there on the faceoff and a little bit in the game as a whole. Yeah, Kieran is a very, very talented player. He was very gifted at and just a dog at takeaway checks, which is something that we're definitely going to need here. Yeah, no, definitely. These uh, small changes could uh, have a big impact on this game, which is what the Jesuits need right now. Yeah, not to mention Kieran is also uh, very fast. Yes, he is. So uh, that would be very good on the clear. Seems like same offensive lineup out there, I believe. Yep, we got Tim. We got Tim Shanahan right here on the left side of Salvatore, right outside the box. And Theo's across from Tim Shanahan right now. You know, that uh, that end of quarter was definitely very good for prep as they had time to talk over what they were going to do during this man-down offense. Yeah, I know, definitely. That was uh, hopefully a big part of what they uh, talked about in that uh, period in between the quarters. This is Crotty to Rody, Rody to Theo. Very spaced out here. Yeah, Prep seems to be moving the ball very fast, trying to get uh, the defense or even the goalie out of position and uh, find uh, a lane for a shot. Yeah, Nimi yelling over there, quicker, quicker. They're moving the ball. There we go, and it's in. That's Finbar Malloy finding it. He was wide open. That's what that fast passes do. They uh, leave uh, one of your guys open, and you find it, especially in the crease right there, leaving it one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. And Salvatore doesn't come up big that time. That was a big cut there from the Malloy, recognizing that the defense in their sliding was not going to – the defense had enough time to slide on Phil Malloy. So, yeah. I mean, that was very good on him. Yeah, definitely. That's Finbar's fourth goal of the season here, and that's a big one for the Jesuits, especially in this game. And uh oh, uh, it looks like a procedure there. A little bit early there from Bacchus. Definitely don't want that happening, especially against Chaminade with their strong offense here. Chaminade getting Lynch back on the field. One of their star players. Bacchus still on the field, or Fogo, but playing extremely good defense. McCarthy on Lynch. Setting a pick. Some good slides. Drop pass there, but that is picked up by Alex Meyer. Meyer giving it to McCarthy on the clear. McCarthy getting it in the box, but it just misses the pass there to Bacchus. That is a big GB there from... Oh, that's a nice check right there. Oh! That was a big hit, and it's a flag! It's a flag! 
big hit there on Luke Shanahan. That's causing a flag for Shamanad. I don't know about you, Barry, but that was the far ref who made that call. Uh, it's a bit surprising. I thought that hit was clean, but it's going to go prep's way and uh, maybe a little, little man up if the uh, refs agree on it. You know, that seemed a little egregious there as, I mean, Luke did not have the ball, but, I mean, at the moment it may have seemed like it did to the close ref, but, I mean, that was, I, I mean, I don't know. That may have been a great call by the far ref. Bad call. Yeah, maybe we'll he had a, maybe he had a different angle on it. I'm not really sure, but uh, it's gonna go prep's way, and prep is man up. One minute. It's a one minute penalty. I can't catch the number from all the way here. I don't have my glasses on, but is that 41? Gavin Duran. Yeah, it might be. Yep, could be the sophomore. It is. And another man up opportunity for prep. Definitely huge for us if we can capitalize, which. I mean, I hope we do. Yeah, you can see Finbar over there lurking on the back side. But Shamanad's definitely going to be covering that, especially if Prep just did it. And that Prep hits Luke Shanahan in the face. Oh, but two defenders down. This turns into a four on three. Shanny giving it to Finn. Back to Shanny. Shanny with the shot. And Shanahan just missed it up. 27 seconds left on this penalty. Tim wasting no time. Finn to Theo. Theo to Rody. Rody to Luke. Luke to Tim. And that shot is wide. Yeah, that's wide there. Uh, d a good shot, especially with only 15 seconds left. Prep doesn't have much time here, and they need shots on net. Finn to Theo. Theo to Rody. Rody back to Theo. No offense is being created right now to Finn. Finn looking for a shot. G gives it to Theo. Theo has his shot opportunity, yeah, but a misses. It's a save by Sal Salvatore right there. That pass there almost dropped. He's getting into a little That's bit of trouble. Check. Huge check there from Timmy Shanahan. Giving the clear off. No! Oh! Dropped pass there from Tim Shanahan. Looked to be a little high there. Uh, who was that? Was number seven? That was Gavin Burke. Uh, who? Uh, no, was, no, that was uh, that was Emma Karate. That was Emma with Karate. That pass. Oh, uh, yeah, just a little high. Could have, could have really changed the momentum here. Yeah. Gavin Burke playing far out. But that is a timeout for Shamanad. Yeah, very, very eventful second quarter so far. Big goal out there for prep and then another man down opportunity. How are you feeling, Patrick? Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, prep is winning this quarter. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good sign here for prep. Uh, if I were a coach, I would be telling them uh, just win the quarter. And that's what they're doing so far. Take it one step at a time and don't think ahead. Uh, because prep really, really needs to uh, make something happen here. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Um, you know, the fact that I feel like the biggest part that shows that is the fact that there are two separate huddles instead of one out here <coughs> in the second quarter. You know, a lot of some missed opportunities, some sloppy play. But all in all, we are up a goal in this quarter so, I mean, I'd say it's success so far. If we can clean up those sloppy opportunities, then I think we'll be good for it. Yeah, I know definitely here, Tommy. Uh, I'm not sh completely sure what the coaches are talking about, but I'm hoping it could uh, change Prep's momentum. But, yeah, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. And uh, is this – yes, this is defense that we will be starting off of forgot that this was a timeout. Um, silly old me. Yes, very silly of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, Kimball will be starting with this ball. With Cutton at his left. Yeah, the wind blowing here, you know, could definitely change what goes on in this game, but uh, hopefully Prep fixes that and uh, plays with it. I agree. McCarthy 
guarding Lynch. Mahoney, Jack Mahoney, the senior d Mitty right here. He got a little bit beat, but that pass is just a little high. Gavin Burke. Dodging downhill on Cooper Callahan. Getting it back to X. Looking for somebody. He passes it off to Lynch. Lynch tries to get top side, but Gavin McCarthy says no. And that shot, I mean, that pass into the crease does not work. Big swim dodge there from Jack Mahoney. And he seems to be the man running the show on this clear. He's got two guys on him. No one's helping. And he gets out. He gets out. Oh, and he falls but throws the ball. Right to Tim Shanahan. And Tim picks it up. No call there. And he stays with it. That's a seems like timeout prep, maybe? Well, it'd have to be. They had ball. Yes. Yeah. The ref was super adamant about that timeout. Yeah, no, well, definitely. That whistle went on for at least 15 seconds there. Yeah. Well, uh, not wanting the beating on Tim Shanahan to, you know, be any longer than it was. Big ground ball there from Tim Shanahan and Jack Mahoney with that great clear. I mean, two dudes on him at once. And, uh, you know, just getting out of that situation, that, I mean, that's just great. That's great. That's great in determination there from the senior. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Prep, prep really needed that. That's a big play there. Uh, that grit just shows what needs to be done to get the ball out, clear the ball, get it passed over the midline. Uh, and to the offense here. So, uh, how are you feeling in uh, the second half so far, guys, Juan? Uh, let me tell you something. We're still winning. We're still winning this quarter. It's uh, one nothing Prep as of right now. Uh, and Prep just has to take the scoreboard out of their mind. Uh, you guys can't really see the close bleachers here, but uh, you can see the far ones. It looks a little empty, but let me tell you, it is not empty here. Everybody's over here on the close side, just under us. And it looks like we have people from all over the place. It looks like we have some Darian Girl Varsity players, uh, prep parents, and the Chaminade parents, of course, uh, all making the trip here to see this nationally ranked matchup. Yeah, and a lot of the bomb squad. I mean, we do have a pretty good um, show out here for the bomb squad. Because, you know, this is a nationally ranked match. Well, of course. I mean, it's not as big as a semifinal game or something, but uh, the boys are here. Uh, the boys are supporting, and it seems to be a whiteout here. Shani passing it off to his brother. Both BU commits. That's brotherly love. Yeah. Theo Rudolph passing it off to Malloy. Malloy getting this dodge off, passing it off to Shani. Shani not really finding anything. But he shoots it. That hits crossbar. Yeah, right off the post there. Unlucky, but balls are going to stay with prep here, and Tim's going to take it on the left side of Salvatore. Tim getting closely guarded by Dagstino, I'm going to say. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. And Tim tries to pass it off to... And a karate, but just narrowly misses. And that, that's going to be Chaminade ball? Yep, out of bounds there. And that will be picked up by Brendan O'Brien, one of the LSM. And that and pass dropped. is dropped. Gavin McCarthy running the show, looking for the shot. shot. Oh, and that's going to stay with Chaminade. Salvatore got there before karate. I don't, I don't really know if that was a smart shot there, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is. He took it, and now it's Shaunad Ball, and we got to play some defense here. Definitely do. That's picked up by Cudback. Cudback gets it into the box, passes it off to Tully. Tully to DeBarbery. They're just having a little game of catch out there. And this is Greer going downhill straight into two defenders, but that's a big, big check there from Hawley. And Hawley can't win it there, but it's out of bounds on Chaminade, and it's prep ball. Beautiful play there by George to push the guy out. Gillis was not able to get that ground ball, 
which led Prep to getting this ball for the clear. I believe that it's Theo running it. He's got three guys, swim, dodge, and he gets checked, but he keeps it because the defenders can't go over the midline. That's something called offsides there, guys. Karate in the back. And that pass is just down. And that seems like that will be Shaman on ball. Non-stop lacrosse here. Yeah, but that's definitely a struggle for Prep here, not making those passes. Coach Nimi does not, not look happy right now. The Barbary to Tully. Tully to Balsamo. Balsamo gets this ball back. And seems like he wants to pass to Cutton. Cutton guarded closely by Cooper Callahan. Sacred heart commit. Cooper not letting wow. anything. Just absolutely shuts him down. But they can't find the ball. Where's the ball? I don't think I've ever seen that in lacrosse. I've definitely seen it in hockey before when a goalie covers it. And the bomb squad's giving him a little uh, little greeting there. Just well, that, that was nowhere to be found. Seems like it was... Yeah, I think it was stuck in his shirt. It's going to stay with Shamanon. That's okay. That's uh, that's surprising, especially with Cooper getting that check there. All right. It's very questionable, but... It's very questionable. All right. We're not going to argue with it, though, are we? Nope. No, of course we are. <laughs> <coughs> and that's and number 10. That's Tolly. Tolly. Yeah, Excuse me. Uh, you're all good. Uh, that's Tolly running it down the alley and getting inside. And uh, Keen couldn't come up with the save there, but uh, it's currently 7-2 to Shamanad. But, you know, we're tied in the quarter, and that's all that matters so far. No one's losing, no one's winning. Yeah, seeing a lot more of that Dimity out there from Jack Mahoney, and we're seeing Kieran Campos as well. Yeah. Definitely just trying to get this ball here. As he's extremely fast, but there's Bacchus goes over ball right there. Cooper Callan, good check there. A war here for this ground ball. But it is picked up by Matthew Marchetta. He gives it off to Balsamo. Balsamo looking for a dodge and a shot opportunity, but Bahoni doesn't allow it. Yeah, Balsamo's name is really making me hungry. Reminds me of balsamic vinegar, which I have on my sandwiches. This is Lynch, guarded by Mahoney. Mahoney wants all the smoke here. Lynch, not really able to find anything. Passes it off to Cutton. Cutton dodging on Kieran Campos. Back to Lynch. Back at the top of the box, looking for something. Lynch, back at X. Looking for a pass, but Mahoney's doing a beautiful job at playing against the Notre Dame commit. Big screen there. Campos is now playing him. Looking for a jump shot. I'm Nothing's sorry. found. I've never seen that before. And I've never seen him. Somebody just stand like that behind the crease. And that's a huge, wow, check, huge there. check. Cooper Callahan. That was gross. Yeah, Mahoney's running it. Uh, he does. I don't think he knows he has a guy behind him, but gets there. Mahoney getting it into the box. And that was a huge check there from Cooper Callahan. Yeah, the Sacred Heart commit doing his job. Oh, wow, and it looks like the sun's out now. Definitely a, a change here for the players. And McCrotty taking it to X. Taking it around the entire field, as a matter of fact. Passes it to Theo. Theo wants to run the show here with two minutes left in the second quarter. Theo looking for a shot just off left. Yeah, just wide of Salvatore on his right side, but... Uh... I believe it's going to stay with Prep on the, the right side of Salvatore, and that's Tim Shanahan. Timmy passing it off to Rudolph. Rudolph, with some space, passes off to Finn. Finn guarded by a few, and that pass is dropped. Yeah, but it's picked up with Prep. That's Tim Shanahan, and he gets checked. Looking for this loose. ground ball, but that is in the crease. That's given Salvatore, and that's... Uh, that's a clear there to number 24. Connolly passing it off to Cutton. Cutton giving it back up to O'Connor. O'Connor 
Giving it to Balsamo, but he isn't finding anything. And there's a whistle, and I believe that's a timeout. Shamanat with a minute, just a, over a minute and a half here in the second quarter. And like I said before, we're still tied 1-1 in this quarter, but it's currently 7-2 Shamanat. Yeah, pretty good goal there out there from Shamanat, but we had a lot of great defensive plays here for the prep Je for the Jesuits of Fairfield Prep, especially from Cooper Callahan. Gross can opener that we saw out there that led to that clear and almost goal, but I digress. Yeah, no, uh, the Jesuits really have to get their game on. I mean, they're disappointing the young kids over there that are uh, hanging out under the scoreboard. Uh, no, but really, the Jesuits really need to turn something on. There's a lot of people here watching. Uh, this is a really big game uh, for the Jesuits, so hopefully we can turn something around, whether it's in this minute and a half or it's the second half. Yeah, you know, so far, Garrett Keane, our goalie, he's been doing a pretty good job against Chaminade. He's had a, the defense has had a lot of defensive breakdowns, uh, not allowing Garrett to play to his full potential. Yeah, no, definitely. Some of those goals Garrett was uh, surprised about, had no clue what was going on, especially with defense giving up the ball at the midline for a fast break here. Yeah, a lot of fast break goals here. A lot of four-on-three opportunities here for Chaminade that they've capitalized off of. But I hope to see, and I know I will see Garrett prosper in bloom. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, the senior, I believe currently no offers. Uh, but uh, very, very good goalie here for the Jesuits. Yeah, a lot of Chaminade parents out here throwing some chirps around. I don't know if I like it. Yeah, I don't know. 132 left in this second quarter. Shamanad definitely not looking to get this ball away. That's the Barbary. Passing it back up to Gillis, I believe. Gillis. Oh, drop pass there for the Jesuits. Giving it to Keane. Keane's got two guys. Keane passing it off. To Brooks Reynolds. Reynolds back to Keane. Keane to Hawley. Hawley has a wide open man as Palmer Furmander gives it to Timmy Shanahan. He gets it inside the box. One minute left here. The Jesuits need to make a move or two. Need to get some shots off as that's given to Griffin Rohde. Resetting the offense and letting some of the other players get in. Finn Malloy. Back into the box. Passes it to Griffin Rohde. Rohde looking for something. and passes it to Timmy Shanahan at X. Timmy Shanahan passes it to Luke. 35 seconds left in the second quarter. And Luke tries to get inside. But is unable to. Timmy passes it off to Theo Rudolph all alone. Giving it into the crease. And Luke Shanahan with the a spin move. Crazy move there for the goal. That is junior BU commit, Luke Shanahan. I believe that was. Yeah, that was Luke Shanahan. Crazy goal there. We'll always see some crazy and flashy goals out here from Luke Shanahan. An amazing player. Three-star, I believe. Yeah, 20 seconds left here in the second quarter. Cole Garrett. Unable to get that. Oh, but, but it's picking. It's picked up by Cooper Callahan, and there's 10 seconds left. Cooper Callahan tries to get it off to Luke, but Luke is unable to get it. And the clock's going to wind down here. Three seconds. Timmy Shanahan tries to get a goal off, but that is a Mongol, and he gets bodied. Great defensive effort out there from Shamanad, but Prep really closing out at the end of this second quarter. 2-1 on the quarter as a whole. Goswin, how'd you feel about that? Let me tell you something. It's currently, it was 2-1 prep in that quarter. So, you know, Jesuits slowly, slowly taking the lead. Uh, and hopefully we could see that more in the third and the fourth quarter. But uh, we are currently at halftime. Uh, we'll let teams uh, talk it out. And we'll be back after this ad, I believe. Yep. See y'all.
go to the Fairfield Prep Innovation Camp and I've had a lot of fun here. I like this camp because it is very fun and complex and we do a lot of things. You learn a lot about STEM and I really don't do that too much in high school so it was a really fun experience. But it wasn't like school so I really very enjoyed it. We did a lot of cool projects. We also get to make a lot of creations. We make model rockets, maybe things like that. We built fortune tellers and we did a cool egg drop with our rockets. Uh, bridge building we had a lot of fun on. We've done coding so far, rubber band cars, and uh, explode a lot of things, and make a mess with hot glue guns. Is prep innovation camp fun? Oh, okay. Well, the fortune teller said that prep innovation camp was super fun this week, and I have to agree with it. It's It's been a wonderful time here at Trailfield Prep. Come to innovation camp, it's so much fun. Reflection is an important aspect of the spiritual life in the prep community. We gather a communal reflection for examining maths, retreats, and in the classroom. Lent, a time of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving as we approach this Easter season, is also a time to reflect on the gifts God gives us and how we can continue to live out Christ's mission in our own lives. During the 2024 Lenten season, members of the Fairfield Prep community including faculty, administrators, staff, and students, will share reflections on each of the daily readings to connect the lives of the prep community to scripture. You're invited to journey with us over the next 40 days. Bless, O Lord, these rings, that those who wear them may be reminded of the time and effort they put into earning them. May they wear these rings with pride and satisfaction, and like true champions, may they continue to play with devotion and dedication to bring honor to themselves, to their team, and to Fairfield Prep. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Everything we have and enjoy at PrEP is a gift. We're surrounded by the gifts, great and small, that come from our parents, our grandparents, our friends, and most of all, our PrEP brothers. Everything around us is a gift, flowing from deep gratitude that leads to generosity. And every prep brother is so much more than just a student. Perfect prep is much more than just a normal high school. Prep ignites the fire within us all. Our young men are being guided by their coaches and their teachers and their mentors to become young men of conscience, compassion, and character.
So today I was here uh, speaking on the No Place for Hate initiative that we have going on at Prep um, and just talking about how my experiences through football and, and being in different locker rooms and playing all these years has, has shown me the importance of being a man for others and, uh, and building relationships with other people so that we can go out into the community and, uh, and, and be, try to be a force for good instead of hate. You know, I loved my time here at Prep. Um, I have friends for life, brothers for life from this place. I still keep in touch with faculty, staff, teachers, um, counselors. This is truly home for me, and so it's an honor to be back here and, uh, and be able to see everybody again and, and talk to the guys. You know, I think our culture here at Prep is what I love the most about it, is uh, you know, how we're all men for others. And I think that's just such a, a simple but important task that we're charged with. Uh, to go out into the community and, and truly um, try to act with love and, and uh, in a way to serve other people. And so that's, that's what I try to do and, uh, and strive to do, and I know everybody else here does the same. I think it's uh, a very unique part of our culture that ties us all together. Being a man of prep means being a man for others. A man for others is not someone who thinks of themselves first. A man for others is not the type of person who takes up a task in search of personal gain. A man for others is the kind of man who uses their God-given talents, those things that they are so passionate about, and uses those skills to create a better environment not for themselves, and not even solely for others, but for everybody. Therefore, it is our task at PrEP to help each and every student cultivate these talents, expand their minds, and help them see the world the way it was meant to be seen. Yes, it is our job, including each and every one of you, to help our peers And we are back for second half action. Um, starting off real hot, we have, um, I believe that is Cole Garrett winning that face off. Big there for the sophomore. But that is a clean check. Luke Shanahan trying to get this GB, but it is picked up by number 19, Benjamin Fox. And I believe he's going to UNC. Oh, but Shanny's stick is broken. Yeah, his head comes off. So his head comes off or his shaft broke right underneath the head. And a little bit of trouble here on this clear for Shamanad. And that is picked up by Cooper Callahan. Great interception. Yeah, the Sacred Heart commit doing his job. And this is a one-on-one -on -one with Timmy Shanahan and the goalie. Edison! Huge way to start off the second or the second half for the Jesuits. Bring the lead down to four to seven. Yeah, the baby powder is flying out of the bomb squad right now, and the boys are hyped. Cooper, yeah. Big assist there from Cooper Callahan, the senior. Huge faceoff there from Cole Garrett as well. Cole Garrett taking this another one, but that is picked up by Cooper Callahan. He seems to be everywhere on this field. Giving it to Gavin McCarthy. McCarthy looking for the shot, but is gobbled up. This Gillis picks this up on this clear. I mean, totally does. And Callahan and McCarthy are on him as well. Yeah, no, definitely. Those two face-off wins there by Cole really changed the pace of this game. 7-4. Shamanad still, but uh, prep with uh, a quick goal. You know, 
Uh, 40 seconds here into the third. But Chaminade are on the offense right now and Prep on the defense. So Cut and guarded by Alex Meyer. Another Air Force commit on this Fairfield Prep team. Mahoney taking up Kimball. Kimball going in, but he has nothing. Great defense there. Furmender on O'Connor. Big body on him. And that is a missed pass there from Chaminade as well. Prep defense doing a very good job against the Chaminade offense. Kimball looking for another, but it's like I almost jinxed it. He gets another one on the day. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a tough one there for Keen. Low stick side there, but uh, we're looking for the faceoff here by Cole. Hopefully another win here for the Jesuits. Yeah, it seems like Shamana is able to create something out of nothing. I mean, that's just a, an ability you don't really see out of a lot of teams, but something you definitely see as you get higher and higher up the rankings nationally. And that faceoff is one... Almost won by Chaminade. And it, it's off the stick. I mean, off the head of Alex Meyer. Not not this, not his head stick, or the head of his stick, but his actual head. That was a shot by Gillis there that went wide. Bomb squad getting a little rowdy for some reason. No clue what's going on there. They're pointing somewhere near the scoreboard, but uh, that's a missed pass there by Chaminade, and it's going to be prep, and that's Campos. And that's some great defense there from both Campos and Cooper Callahan. Campos seems like some interference there. Oh, but Palmer Fremender goes and takes it back up. Really good IQ there from uh, Kieran Campos. Fremender taking three guys on right now, but it seems like he's able to get that clear. He's giving a karate here. Still need to get into this box, it seems like. Theo seems like he's just bulldodging his way in, and that works. Yeah, definitely needing that touch there wouldn't have been a... Good thing for the Jesuits to turn the ball over there. Rody giving it off to Manning. Manning, the sophomore, definitely not afraid here, though, but he does get that stripped of him by Gavin Duran. Duran leading the clear, just gets it into the box and gets it to Gillis. Seems like they may reset here as not everybody is on the field for both sides of this. Robbie Manning. This is a cut in, looking for a shot. Nothing's there. This is given to Knapp, it seems like. Knapp at X, looking for a shot, passes it off to Tully, but that is just missed. A lot of missed passes here on both sides of the field. Rody manning this clear. It seems like he has a lot of space as well. Yeah, but he needs to get the touch here and he gets it. Rody doing a ton of spin moves. Needs a bailout here. And Crotty is that, but Crotty it's missed. just missed it. And it seems like that is offsides? Uh, two on I two. I honestly have no clue. That's missed. Terrible can't, miss there from Can't Cotton. tell if that was a shot or a pass to the back door, but either way, it's going to stay with Chaminade. Yeah, terrible shot attempt there from Cutting. Gillis guarded by Callahan. And that was eaten by Callahan straight in the face. That's big. Yeah, it's a big block there. That's the Kimball. Kimball to O'Connor. O'Connor guarded by Mahoney at the top of the box. That was slid there from Hawley. Big checks there on oh, the save crease. By Keen. It's a big save there. That's a, it's a low bouncer there, but uh, Keen came up big with the shot, but 
can't get the rebound. It's going to stay with Shaman out here. Manning playing short stick D. Carthy seems to be locking down. Seems like that is just off crossbar there for cut, and Keen picks that up. Giving it to McCarthy on this off box clear. Prep looking for the touch here, and they get it. Oh, one on one here. And it's hey! in! That's a huge goal there from the senior, Jack Mahoney. Great assist there from this other senior. I know those two are boys, Gavin McCarthy to Jack Mahoney. Yeah, no, definitely. That was a beautiful play there. Mahoney finding himself in front of the crease by himself with the goalie, gets the ball and puts it in. And Prep cut the deficit to just three, and it's 8-5 Shaman out here. Yeah, personally, Jack Mahoney is definitely a sleeper on this team. He has broken my ankles in captain's practice as well. He's he's a dog, to put it simply. Yeah, Mahoney here coming up with his uh, first goal of the season, actually. Uh, so that's definitely something for him. Oh! oh, and a big, big hit there by Tim Shanahan. Oh, and he can't get it across there with the pass. But wow, that hit. Uh, you don't see many of those. It's a good check there by George. And Palmer Fermander takes that, but he's checked from behind. That's, that's the foul. Yep, that's the flag. Flags down on the field, and the prep is going to be man up here. That's a huge momentum boost here. Just under six minutes left in the third. Huge body there from Tim Shanahan. I mean, that was, that was beautiful. My eyes were looking at the ball, and here I believe we are going to see it right here. Look at this body. You I believe barely it was... see it. Boom! Hit stick. Madden style. Huge body there. Yeah, you don't really see much of that in the cross. Definitely see it in hockey, but uh, sorry, it's good. It's good to see. Uh, but the penalty is taken by Gavin Duran. It's a thirty seconds, I believe, for cross checking. Shanny. Giving it to Rody up top. Rody to Theo. Theo to Malloy. Malloy checking the head. That's a flag. That's throw. another flag. Gives it to Shanny. Shanny to his brother. And that's and a it's goal. Shane, baby. Tim Shanahan makes it 8 6. Huge blaze there from Prep on the man down. Coming back from 1 6 to 6 8 currently. Playing amazing. The bomb squad's fired up. The bench is fired up. The players are fired up. Yeah, Tim Shanahan there. Really trying to get the crowd hype here. That's his second goal of the game, and that's his 10th on the season. The first Jesuit to get to double digits in goals. Who better to do it than Tim Shanahan? He's gross. Oh, really? That was great ball movement. And uh, Jesuits, I believe, are still going to be man up. Yeah, four seconds left on this penalty. Uh, they're trying to figure out the penalty so they could put it on the board here. There's another one. They have a release. Yeah, they as have a well. release, but there's another one. There's another one. I don't know who it is. I believe they said it was number 27, Louis uh, Dagstino. And yeah, I mean, that was purely on the head there. Like, completely, like, just. I think it was textbook, completely. Textbook slash. Yeah, no. Definitely. Uh, one by Shaman out here. It was not completely. Trust. Sorry. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> Five on six currently I'm for Shamanad. Surprise prep's not double man in the ball here. As they are as they use in lacrosse navy, which is man up. Still not doing anything. I don't know if they... Do they not realize that they're man up? Oh, that's a great check there from Mahoney, but isn't doesn't seem to get anything. Yeah, Tolly keeps the ball, goes around Cooper here. Tolly looking for some offense, passes it up at the top of the field. That's to Gillis. Gillis back to Cutton. 
cut in one of the star players for this Chaminade team. Three seconds left in this penalty. And, and we're even. Yeah, I don't believe Prep really knew that they were man up, but uh, other than, other than that, uh, game plays on. Cooper Callahan on cut and great save there from Keen. Cooper Callahan gets that GB. Yeah, Cooper Callahan, 14 GBs going into this game. In three games. Yeah. Oh, and it's it's fumbled here by George. And a fast break here for Chaminade. But nothing has seemed to get out of it currently. I don't think the ball came out of his stick there. McCarthy back on Lynch. Tolley looking to get Palmer Fermenter out of position. Going around, back to X. And this is Balsamo. Huge jab step there that almost broke Fermander, but. Yeah, Fermander with the, the dive there, looking for the check. Fermander prevails. Looks exactly like Marco out there, that's crazy. This is Gillis. Passing it to O'Connor, O'Connor to Cutton, but that's a drop pass. Meyer on Cutton. Cutton at the right side, left side. He passes it to Tolly. Tolly looking for a dodge of Mahoney, but Mahoney just locks him down. Yeah, Mahoney really, really a big player in this game right now with uh, one goal so far, that being his first, but a big momentum jump here for the Jesuits. Oh, that's a shot there to Gillis. Breakdown on the defense there for Prep. Making the store go from 68 to 69. Nice. Uh, we got Ryan Backus coming out here. Take the face off for the Jesuits. And Ball, I don't think he's come out of this game yet. Uh, the junior from Chaminade. Really strong on the on the face offs here as uh, people call Fogos. Garrett still staying out there. Oh, no, that's Bacchus. What am I saying? That GB. GB by Cooper again. That's a great bounce pass to Meyer. Meyer handing it off to Burke. Burke passes it to Theo. And, and Theo's going. Fast break here. Theo. It seems like he's going to let the offense reset a little. That's Crotty. Crotty back to T. T all the way up to Theo. Theo at the top of the field, almost at the logo, has a lot of space to dodge. And he's going in. He's in the middle. Gives it off to Shanahan. Shanahan to his brother. T goes for the shot There's and the gets flag the flag. Down. The flag is down. I believe that's number 33. Yeah, Gavin Fitzpatrick, I believe, gets the uh, the penalty for Chaminade. Yeah, Gavin Fitzpatrick, along with Connor Cutton, are both Johns Hopkins commits. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one minute, I believe. Malloy starting off this man down. Gives it to Theo. Theo to Shani. Shani to Crotty. Crotty back to Shani in the back. That's to Rody at the top. Looking for a shot. Gives it to Theo. Theo to Malloy. Malloy inside dodge, but gets the ball loose. Malloy to Theo. Theo to Crotty. To Luke. To Timmy. To Crotty. Oh, no, that's Rody. And that's a shot. the back. You see that, Crotty? BTB goal. Wait. No, it's no goal. They're saying he was in the crease. That's crazy. That's outrageous. I think we're going to need a replay on that. Here we get it. Big check. Yard sale. 
and Rhodey manning the clear. Passes it off and to this, Burke. This game right now is getting intense. Just under a minute left in the third quarter here. As you said, not a lot of time left in this third quarter. Nah, but we're going to need to see a replay on that. Yeah, that's crazy. That was not in the crease. I swear I saw it. Theo here taking his guy all the way back close to the logo, and he's going. He's looking for an angle. And that's Shani to Malloy. I don't I don't see how that wasn't a slashing call. That was nowhere near the stick. That was right on his hands. And that is back to white ball. Shani seems to be hurting. Definitely slashing. Yeah, I don't see how the refs missed it with four of them out there. Dylan McCarthy is on the field for Shanahan. Yeah, hopefully Shanahan gets back into this game. He's a really big part of it. Gives it to Theo. Theo, 10 seconds left. Looking for a shot. Is given nothing. But he goes for the shot. Just narrowly misses. It seems like they're calling that in the crease. Yeah, it's by the same ref who called off uh, Karate's BTB. Shamanad getting and it out of bounds. The quarter is over. Score after three. Prep six. Shamanad nine. Yeah, and here we'll see that quote unquote goal that the refs called back here on Karate. Karate right here. You'll see him. He was, he was nowhere near the crease there, I believe. That is not a great call there. I mean, really caught us off guard there. We probably could have got another goal if, um, you know, Karate wasn't celebrating off of the obvious non-crease goal. And it seems like they're doing another stick check. Yeah, it looks like they got two sticks that they're checking out right now. I believe, I believe it's regulation to do one from each team. But um, I, I maybe... It, I think it's more of a judgment call here. And uh, we're going to be going to an... And there it is. That is the beauty of Rafferty Stadium. A lot of PLL games played here as well, just yeah. in case you want to pop out every now and then whenever they do play. I believe um, it's in uh, June this year. I think I will uh, I'll be attending that. Uh, yeah, I definitely got to look into that. No, I'd just like to say that uh, that video was taken by me. So I don't want to take all the credit, but uh, it, it was all me. It's you. It is me. Here, yeah, Prep is really ready, it seems like. Already out on the field. Shamanad looking uh looking a little slow here. Salvatore running to his crease right now to get this fourth quarter underway. McCarthy and Callahan on the ends. That faceoff is won by Shamanad, but great check there from Gavin McCarthy. GB there from Cooper Callahan. Another one on the day. He's a GB machine. Yeah, what is he, uh, like five GBs, maybe six? I, I would say like, yeah, six-ish. He's been going crazy on those GBs. Yeah, definitely a big, uh, big factor in this game right now. Pushing on... Timmy, and he gets that's thrown down. Yeah, he gets pushed, and that's going to stay with Prep. Yeah, big defense there on the senior UNC commit, Ben Fox. And they, they pass it off to Luke. Another 
A flag is thrown. Flag is thrown, so Prep is going to go on the man up here, and hopefully they could score. If they don't get one here. Crotty. Good Crot touch oh. on the inside. It's just off. But they called out in the crease. Of course they did on Crotty. I think he did maybe overcommit and jump in the crease at the end. It was cutting but it close for sure. Definitely. But that was a great catch there from uh from Timmy Shanahan. I mean, you guys may have not seen that. That was it's actually disgusting. He caught the goal, he's caught the shot there from karate. It was about a run. Salvatore's. Yeah, but let's not forget about the swim dodge there by karate before he stepped into the crease. Yeah, it was pretty gross. That looks like Finbar on the right side of Salvatore. Theo to Timmy. Timmy to Karate. Karate taking it up. Giving it to Rody. Rody to Rudolph. Back to Rudolph. Seems like back to Rody. And that's passed to Timmy. Timmy swim dodge. And that's that is saved by Salvatore again. Salvatore has a GoPro on. That's Gavin Fitzpatrick late leading this clear. But that is picked up by Jack Mahoney. Great interception there. He gives it to Crotty. Crotty just taking his time here. Rody at the top, waiting for Theo to come in out of the box. But that was a crazy play there from Mr. Mahoney, the senior. Making a very big impact in this game. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, definitely somebody who we didn't think was going to make a big impact on this game, but he surely has. Timmy gets slid on. Big checks there. Karate, spin dodge. Spin move, I should say. Taking it back at X. Holding the ball, trying to facilitate something. Gives it to Malloy. Malloy, bull dodging in. He gets slid on, but he Luke is double. wide open. And he just misses the top corner, but it's going to stay with prep as uh, Tim beats Salvatore to the end line. Yeah, great instincts out there from Tim Shanahan. Just knows exactly when to get back to get that ball back for prep. That's the Karate at X. Karate, another, another swim, swim dodge. dodge. Gives it to Malloy. Malloy has, gets, gets tripped. tripped up. But it's just off. No trip call there is pretty crazy. But I, I don't know. Tolly leading the clear. Yeah, saved by uh, Salvatore there. And this is Connolly passing it back up to Tolly. Totally to Connolly. Fakes the shot to cut in. Back to Totally. Just resetting this offense and letting everybody get yeah, on, especially Hunter Kimball. Totally just told everybody to sell down here as they're up by three goals with eight, just over eight minutes left. Seems like they're getting, I believe that's Lynch back in the game, the Notre Dame commit. A lot of commits on this field right now. Definitely, definitely a very good matchup between all these commits. Almost everybody here is committed to play college lacrosse. Yeah, they'll definitely be seeing each other. That shot there was from O'Connor. Yeah, all these guys will definitely be seeing each other. Or well, not all, but most of these guys are going to be seeing each other at the collegiate level of lacrosse. So it will be, it'll be fun to see all these guys play. Yeah, definitely will. And that's Cooper Callahan at X. Cover, covering Cutton. He goes for the overhead. overhead. And he gets it. Ball's loose. That was gross. Yeah, Cooper Callahan been playing very well. He just shot it. But the ref oh. calls it. I don't know what that call was, but it's going to stay with Shaman on it, it looks like. I believe it might have been a loose ball check. But, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if those are even a thing. Maybe a push, I think. 
Meyer guarding Balsamo. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Balsamo cutting to Gillis. Gillis driving down on Hawley. But Hawley, Hawley, great defense. Playing physical here. Gotta love to see it from your defenders as a goalie. Huge. Yeah, huge hit. Don't know how that stays in the pocket. There's no way that's legal. No way. If they're checking sticks, they may want to check his. Kimball. Guarded by Mahoney. Mahoney almost checks it out of him. Mahoney with a couple slashes. Big oh, defense, Mahoney but a little bit of a breakdown there. And that shot goes a little bit left. Yeah, just a little. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Ball's going to stay with Shamanad here. 6.43 left in the fourth. Left in this game. That's in the crease. That's in the crease. There's no way that's in. I don't know what just happened. but I don't know, but there's two flags out there. Gillis went crazy and got a gross shot there, but they're calling a flag. That's a goal. Keen is going crazy out here. Well, not crazy. He is not loving that call since, I mean, that dude was basically running a marathon in the crease. It's a little confusing how they uh, miss Cry's BTB, but call that one a goal, which that one was even closer. I think we're going to need a replay on that. What do you think here, Tommy? I agree, and here we'll see it. Here it is. Yeah, he was yeah. in the crease. He took a step in that he crease step, there. Yeah. And he still called it. That's all right. Okay. I think these rests came from New York. Yep. Yeah, Keen definitely not happy with that. That's for sure. Of course, Shaman not happy about it, but uh, wind picking up here. And it's won by Ball. Connolly taking this, but Cooper Callahan on him. Oh, almost big check there. McCarthy almost has an albatross. Holly picking it up. Albatross, I should say. I'll let you uh, say how you want it to say. I'm not going to criticize you here. Thank you. Of course. Fermenter pressing out. Peter with the ball here. On to Barbary. Peter. And totally now. The bus tree? I the no Bouchier? Clue. I'm gonna Oh maybe. It might be that. Glad to uh glad you tried it out late in the fourth year. <laughs> Loki. Shaman are looking for something. Very very intense behind the crease there. I don't know who and it's in. Oof. That's cutting. Cutting really good crease or at X. Coming up to GLE, just get a stick, top right corner. And we're back to five. Shamanon make the difference, five goals. Playing. Prep, prep is struggling here, you know. Uh, don't know what's going on, but uh, hopefully this could change. I agree. Oh, and that's prep That's ball. early on Bola. That's early on ball, and I think that's the first one. So they're just letting him get jumped? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that yeah, that makes that makes no sense. Real. I think the uh the coaches are arguing that they didn't he didn't give him five yards. Yeah, they were like in his grill. Yeah, there were three of them. In the cross, the rule is that there is a whistle, you're supposed to give a guy at least five yards. Of room, but right there. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. The refs, I mean, Bacchus could feel um, could feel Connolly's hot breath right on his shoulder. Right oh, no, right blue. on his neck there, yeah. Tommy. For real. All three of them. Yeah, multiply that by three. It's not having a good time. Yeah, definitely a little Smelly hot. Smelly breath. <laughs> Bomb squad looks... A little bigger from the last time I checked. Good to see the school is coming to support. We see Mr. Jones. One of the deans here after Afro Prep. I mean, he's pretty much a GOAT in my opinion. Yeah, we got Mr. Gualtieri there too. 
Ca- is that Cashman? That is President Cashman, I see. Come and support the boys in white. And then right in front of us, we have a couple varsity Ludlow uh, girls players here. I believe they're scouting out. Oh, yeah. Maybe for prom? <laughs> yeah. Maybe some of their prom dates. Yeah, Ludlow and Prep Prom are on the same day. Which, I mean, a lot of, I mean, we're both from, we're both Fairfield schools, so, I mean, I know that's going to sc- start a lot of arguments. Oh, definitely. I know. I would know. Oh, would you? Yeah. I mean, we are the better school, though. Right? Yeah, for real. We'd use this clip to convince her. <laughs> It's getting a little windy out here. I mean, the past few days, as we mentioned at the beginning of the game, it's really windy. You might hear some, like, blowing on the mics. Uh, You may have heard blowing on the mic in the middle of the game. It's definitely not us, I'll tell you that right now. It's not us. I swear I I don't breathe that hard. Yeah, no, it's definitely the wind here. The wind's picking up, especially it gets later in the day, and it's currently 634. Yeah, like, you heard it there. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'm just not breathing. Yeah, no, no. I'm holding my breath here. And he gives it to Rhodey. And Rhodey scores! scores! Huge goal there from the junior, Griffin Rhodey. Beautifully executed. Just absolutely stepped down and got it down. Yeah, he did. Finds it. Finds it past Salvatore for his goal. I believe that's his first of the game there. Let me double check with my notes. And yeah, that's his first. Brings the score to four. Yeah, it's currently off. Back is his helmet and comes Bacchus off. Back is his helmet's off. And the reps aren't doing anything about it. All they do is blow the whistle. Dude, they're telling him to get off? I believe that is a rule, uh, same in football yeah. and hockey, so. I don't know who's. Am I walking the prank? I don't know if his uh, helmet came off himself or somebody uh, stick checked him. I mean. Look, judging by his reaction, he was pissed. Yeah, he was. Do we have a do we have a replay on that? I I don't know if we will be able to. But the clock, I believe the clock was running. The clock was running for at least uh, I don't know. I was looking at thirty it. seconds. It was it was like five oh seven whenever we started. Oh, four forty nine. All four right. I mean, Okey dokey. I mean, time's time, right? They're talking. It over. Is it offsetting penalties? I don't don't, know what's going on. I honestly have no clue. I wish we had somebody down there telling us this. Cooper Callahan is running off, but it seems like it is Jesuit ball. I don't know what the refs are doing. I mean, I'm going to criticize them here. It's been been really tricky to to decipher. Prep prep has too many on the field here. One, two, three, four. Defensive side, we have Cooper and then three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you could count. I can't. Looks like it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Palmer's off and Cooper's back in. Sacred Heart commits back in the game. And Luke Shanahan gets the touch. Great defense there from Shamanad. 440 left in this game. Four goals down. Shanny is left alone, but every single person slides. Well, Timmy, you, you'd have to you'd have to slide on him, or else he's putting that in the back of the net. Timmy, looking for a goal. <gasps> Timmy, I believe that might be his third of the day. Everybody is. Oh no, but Karate's not doing well. Oh no, stop it. Oh, look at Gina. Gina to the rescue here. Seems like oh, it just seems oh, like Karate got a cramp. Cramp. Yep. And here we see a replay. Of this goal from Timmy. Oh, and we see it close. Look at that swim dodge, spin moves, his specialty. It just lays it in. Put that on ESPN top 10, baby. Oh, my gosh. Top cheddar, top shelf. Where mama hides the cookies. (laughs) I've never heard that in my life. You really? No, that's actually, that's pretty good. Back is trying to get this here. He passes it off to Marchetta. Fast break here. 
Put that Good in the check. check. That's a great check there. Gavin McCarthy, super patient, and he's leading the clear. Gives it to Malloy, but he drops it. And he picks it back up. Little scuffles here. Malloy. Malloy tripped up. Oh, but Marchetta comes back. It seems like that's a broken stick. Yeah, somebody ends and it out. That's seems out of, like that's, that's out, out of bounds. That's out of bounds. That's going prep. Butter fingers or buttery head there. Can't get in his, and can't get in his stick. Yeah, there you go. What is he doing? I'll help you out there. I'll help you out there. Thank you. Of course, anytime. Ball here with uh, Luke Shanahan. Gavin Duran or Duran. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to. I'm going to guess Duran, as I've been saying that the entire game. Yeah, it's it's good to see that you're uh, looking at these names in the fourth quarter now. Yeah. And Shanny! And and it's in! In! Bringing the score to two! Both the Shanny and brothers, I believe, have... I think they might have hatties here. I think they might have some hat tricks. No, Luke Shanahan, I Does believe he have that's two? His, I believe that's his second of the game. That's crazy. I could be wrong, but and, I believe that's his second of the game. And here's that replay here going in. And just look at that goal. If that's if that's Luke Shanahan's second goal, that's his ninth goal of the season. The Shanahan brothers really helping this Jesuit offense here. And the face-off underway. Face-off here. It's a loose ball right now. And it's picked up by Shamanon. Marchetta, but that's a but great a check. Great check by Campos. And, and that's the, the Coop. The and Coop, Coop gets, gets that. It. The Sacred Heart commit. Oh, and it's taken by number 44. O'Brien. And that's a timeout. Timeout, Chaminade. 316 left in this fourth quarter. Prep fights back. Makes it a two-goal game here. I believe this is what we saw last year when we played Chaminade at the Flyers Stadium. Yeah, you know, we played. I, I believe we won that? We did. We did. We were down by about like five or six goals. But yeah, you know, very electric game so far. Jesuits been fighting back in this fourth quarter. Oh, yeah, 100% here. This is all grit right now. It's all determination. Jesuits, only two goals down here. Couple more big defensive plays here, and uh, it's gonna be a big, big turnout. As both teams talk it out here during Shamanad's timeout, a couple people getting stretched out as it's late in the game, hoping for no cramps with just three minutes and 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The refs seem to be talking it out too. I mean, maybe trying to. Determine whether that BTB w was in the crease or not. Yeah. It'd, I be, it'd be nice to have that one back. Hold I wouldn't be surprised if they call back Shanny's goal the way they've been <laughs> making their goals. Oh, yeah. No, he, he might have been 10 yards out, but I think he was in the crease there. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Salvatore first out of the huddle, running to his net. I would just like to say, you know, Salvatore. Small as he is, he's good. Yeah, Salvatore's gross. Genuinely. Yeah, makes very, very good saves. And they also have Gav uh, Jack Duran. Gavin Duran's, uh, I believe, older brother. Number 50, the goalie. Another goalie, 6'2". A little bit bigger than Salvatore. But he might be going for his job next year. Yeah, it looks like it. That kid has some wheels. And it's in. That's a goal there for um, Tully. Tully, yeah. Jack Tully bringing the score to 9 to 2 with 3 away left. Oh, I wish it was 9 2. It's uh, 9 12 there, Tully. Oh, 12. I can't read. Yeah, I can't really see the one there, can you? Nope. Back is out now. Take the face off for prep. Three minutes, eight seconds. Yeah, last game. It was 13 to 12. I believe we were in the same situation as we are now. And Bacchus wins it. And that goal. And that was eaten up by the defender. I don't I don't know who that was. And we've got a timeout prep 
taken by Coach Nimi. Huge timeout there from Nimi, allowing Prep to get another possession here with three minutes left. <coughs> uh, actually, just under Sorry. three minutes. It, it's 2.59. 2.59, my it's, bad. It's, it's still under three minutes. Uh, singular second under three minutes. Um, it's a lot of time. It is. One second, I mean, can decide a game. A lot of things. So, um, and, uh, I mean, we have two huddles right now as well. And, um, I mean, I, defensively, we've been playing extremely well. Uh, and uh, Oh, I yeah, mean, definitely in the second half, yeah. Definitely. And, I mean, we, we've come back from a lot. I mean, I feel like we've been sort of locked down to a certain degree. And, um, you know, I, I Nimi's definitely speaking to the offense, trying to draw up some ingenious play. Yeah, I just want to give a quick shout-out to uh, one of our other announcers. Uh, big player uh, for announcing hockey, uh, Finn Wright, who is currently on the field, a varsity player. Uh, he plays uh, goalie, and hopefully we'll see him starting next year. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. And you would most likely see me out there this year, but I am actually playing tennis this year. Oh, so, yeah. um, very, very big tennis guy, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rudolph getting it in, taking the shot, and that's just off. Yeah, Prep they're, is they're definitely looking for a lot of shots. Yes, now. I was just about to say. Oh, really? Grandma and sick alike. Quoted by a very genius man. Senior quote, maybe. Potentially. Timmy getting slid on. Gives it to Malloy. Malloy looking for something. Timmy getting two man. Oh! Big save by Salvatore. There's a flag on the play. It seems that might be on. That's going to be on Shamanad, I think. Yeah, it seems like Gavin Duran and Michael uh, Kudabak are both coming off. Seems like it was a slash, most likely yeah, one 41. minute. Yeah, that's Gavin Duran. The commit, right? Yeah, he's one of the commits. Yeah, one out or of Or actually, wait, I don't know if he is a commit. Um, yeah, because he's a sophomore. Let me check. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no, that's Gavin Lynch. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Gavin Lynch is uh, uh, one of the top-ranked players for, uh, the, I believe, the Class 25. Yeah, I believe um, so. Yeah, uh, the yeah, Class the 25. Junior, yep. He's going to her name. Shanny to Shanny. Oh, just, just over. Just over the bar. And Malloy wins the race. Great Gavin, hustle there. Gavin Lynch is going to be seeing our boy from last year, Malahi who transferred to Taft this year to play lacrosse. Where both of his cousins played, the Kavanaugh twins. And Shanny giving it to Shanny. Another one just left. And that's Crotty to win that race to the end line. Two, 159 left. Yep, 31 one second seconds. under. Oh, yep, you got it right that time. Yeah. Just under 30 seconds left here on the penalty. Jesuits know they have to do something to stay in this. Yeah, they got to move the ball pretty quick and find the uh, back of the net here. Luke to Tim. Or no, sorry, that's Theo. Theo to Shanny. And that's just over. Yeah, six seconds left here on the penalty. 134 left in this game. Or quarter, I should say. And this game. Never know. Oh, yeah, you're right. Theo. Yeah, even. Now, as you said, even. Shanny. Don't see what Prep is waiting for here. Giving it to Rudolph. Rudolph, lefty shot. Minute 15 here. Down by three. This is Tim from X. Loses man, crossbar, gives his brother, and he and gets it! Sin, baby. Wait, oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, Tommy's uh, 
coughing it up over here next to me. Oh my no, god. But a, but a big goal. That's Rody, not Shanny. Sorry. Huge goal. Bring the score. 12 to 10, Shamanad. Two goal lead. Is that a second? That's a second of the game. Yes, Rody's gross. <laughs> second of the game. That's just fourth of the season there, guys. Get two big in Darian. I believe he had one in Darian. Oh, yeah, he had one against Xavier. I believe he had the uh, the sixth one. The sixth goal that uh, right before the Jesuits tied it. And timeout Shamanad as Ball takes the ball through X and to the right side of Keem. <laughs> yeah, the, sorry, excuse me, you go. I'm so sorry. 55 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Jesuits down by two. Shamanad with the ball. Tommy, what do we have to look for here out of the Jesuits? I mean, they're going to have to get a check, get down, and get a goal, and then we'll find something out the next play, I would say. Yeah, def um, definitely got to take it one step at a time. They might. I mean, I, I believe the Jesuits might have one extra timeout. I may be wrong about that. So, I mean, if they do, um, if they get the ball, definitely going to attempt something. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we're just going to have to see a really big defensive play, like as we've seen all year or all um, game long. Yeah, but 55 left. Ref's talking it over. As we see. And um seems like the players in are getting a personal talk or the offense is getting a personal talk from Nimi. Yeah. Preparing for something to happen. As you guys can see on the live stream right now, the bomb squad. The people who came out to support the Jesuits in this nationally ranked game. Wearing white, the same as the jerseys the Jesuits are wearing. Yeah, it is a white out. Some people aren't wearing white. Some are wearing white and black. Uh, I don't know if that cuts it. I think it has to be all white, right? Yeah. I don't think it said white and black. I think it just said white. White out? White out, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I swear. Cooper Callahan, definitely one of the star players today yeah, they're defensively. Two, they're they're, they're going to double it. And look where Keen is. Keen is running out of his net. He's going to guard a guy as well. The duo, McCarthy and Callahan, going at it. And that's stripped! And it seems like that ball is picked up by Cooper Callahan. He fakes it! He gives it to Manning. Oh! Dropped pass there. But that's almost picked up! Picked up by Karate. Karate goes for the shot just wide left. And Robbie, Robbie Manning wins it with the dive. Or that could have been Luke Shanahan. But we have 27, 27 seconds left on the clock here. Prep down by two, and it's going to be a timeout, I believe. By Prep. There's a flag. They might not have any more timeouts. Yeah, but why is there a flag on the play? What? I'm sorry. Are we missing something? Are we oh, maybe too many players on the field? Offside? I have no idea. I, I don't know. Oh, it's a penalty on Shamanad. Oh. Oh. And this makes it wow. man down again. Wow. Great chance here for the Jesuits. Yeah, the Jesuits are going to need a goal here and a win off the faceoff real, real quick. I am looking to go home, though. I don't know if I want this game to go into overtime. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That's not me. We need to win this. Yeah, we do. This is going to be a huge game. This is big. I don't think George sees his guy right now as cutting. It's at the top of the box. Unless they're doing this on purpose, which I think they are. Oh, no. Look. Oh, yeah. He got told. Cooper directing Holly. Quick plays here. Shanahan looking for the inside. Yeah, they need a fast, fast goal here. Karate not giving anything. To Karate. To Shanahan. He breaks his man. Oh. Just goes and over the net. And there's five seconds left. Five seconds left in this game. Anything can happen.
And he passes it off to Karate, but that is just off. And it will be prep ball. Oh, it was tipped. It was tipped. Three seconds left in this game. Karate goes for a shot, and it is saved. That is by Salvatore. 12 to 10. Chaminade Flyers versus Fairfield Prep. Very, very close game. Very hard, hard fought. And um, just overall, a very good defensive effort and offensive effort. We weren't in first gear in the first quarter, but we definitely made up for it in the rest of the game as we were down 1-6, to six, and we came back 10-12. to 12. But thank you up here from the booth. My name is Tommy Berry, but we will be going for an interview between Patrick Godswan, the color commentator, and Salvatore Caputo, the Chaminade goalie, after this brief, I believe, handshake line. I will be seeing y'all soon, and we'll be sending you down for the interview after this. And uh, here we're getting uh, Salvatore for this interview with um, Patrick Godswan. Salvatore, definitely one of the main players of this game. And uh, they're down there currently. He's about to give the interview. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll sit tight. Salvatore's playing with glasses the entire time. And uh, here we go for the interview. Patrick Godswan and Salvatore. And I'm here on the field with uh, Shaman goalie Salvatore. Big performance by you. I'm very impressed. Uh, quick question for you. This game, as a nationally ranked game, what impacted you on your play style today? You know, they beat us on our home field last year. Left a bad taste in our mouth. We came out here. We were able to get it done on their home field. Oh, good. Your performance was unbelievable. Love the way how you played, and uh, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. And uh, that will be it. For today at Rafferty Stadium, it is 12 to 10. Chaminade versus Fairfield Prep. I'm Tommy Berry, joined with Patrick Godswan, who is on the field. And uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. Good night.